So, hey guys, Chelsea here, and yeah, as you might know, I am a total stan for Hui Triakina versus Ace. So today I'm doing versus Ace and Hui Triakina against all the Garp challenges. We'll start with Garp Challenge NL, which is the oldest Garp challenge we have available. It feels weird to say that since I still feel like NL is very new. Uh, one thing that all three teams have in common is that we'll <laughs> auto-battle the first stage. And this is obviously to start consuming strength orbs. Since Versus Ace needs to consume 12 strength, dex or quick orbs for his Versus special. And in all teams we're going to make good use of that Versus special. Another thing that all the teams have in common is that all of them have an Ace sub. Which works since Ace is friend captain. Uh, that wasn't the main reason I put Ace as friend captain, really. The main reason was that uh, it's just harder to find We Triaki in the friends, but maybe I can help increase his popularity. But yeah, I set up here so I killed all but the strength mob first turn. The support was just the railing support on the Luffy and the uh, Garp support on the Kusan. This is the limited rail recruit Kusan. He's like very, he's very good for Anal as long as you run a tutor focused team, which this is. And as you see, Ace versus Special is ready, so we're going to take advantage of that. We get the uh, two times burn conditional this stage, and we have three units with barrier pan and very high attack captain, so that will be enough to one turn this stage. Very cool. Yeah, taking the burn damage doesn't really matter there. And yeah, for this stage we're using the We Triaki Inu special. This will let us one turn this stage as well. Yeah, very easy. And yeah, for next stage I'm actually using this East Blue Luffy. It's the first time I've used him in a guard challenge, it's just because he changes the orbs randomly unless they're block orbs. But since versus Ace and We Tree again makes all orbs matching, like it doesn't matter that he randomizes it. And Luffy does have the ship buying limit break ability, so we get attack boost, orb boost, we resist the ship bind. So that together just lets us one turn this stage as well, so yeah. Very good use for that Luffy, if I may say so. I also used the Kusan special. The Kusan special works so that if you hit two perfect, you get a two times attack boost for shooters the next stage. And as you see, the top four rows are only shooter units. All of them have two times attack. So we'll use the versus A special here, get some damage. I will 1D KO that guy and 3 hit KO the quick guy. And yeah, we're ready for final stage. So yeah, this is a very fast team. Uh, it is not often that I use teams that removes the special buy in final stage, but I did bring the buggy for that. And I'm actually using a self-damaging unit in this team in the Marco and Ace. So we get uh, Luchi support for Call Affinity for the tutors. And Marco Ace gives a 2.75 times attack boost. So yeah, we just hit with the Barry Penny with the first, and this is a very easy kill. So, smooth as butter. And we'll move on to the Navy team. And yeah, both this team and the final team will use Kawamatsu actually, the new Kawamatsu. Uh, I've been saying that he's probably the most viable arena unit to actually use on teams. Uh, like, time buffs in general is just very valuable. And his classes makes him stand out because, like, they don't have too many of this kind of buff. At least not if they, they are strength as well. So yeah, since it's we track in and versus Ace team, we do need to build around strength, shooter, free spirit. So it does get a bit hard to find units, but... But yeah, for this stage team, I just be, uh, auto battle the first two stages. So I just fill up the versus gauge in the process and yeah, can just chill a bit. And even if you get bad RNG here with the reversals, like versus ace doesn't care about that.
And yeah, I actually had the Kizuna Chopper here. He's actually good since he has the Neko support, so he can help remove Bind the next stage. And we can use his special this turn to get beneficial orbs for three turns, which blocks the tandem orb non beneficial next stage. Ace is nice, very low. This is the Rumble free to play Ace. Very low CD, gives an attack boost. And removes damage threshold, and obviously removing damage threshold is a must for this content. So he'll actually be ready for final stage without stalling, since he also has a support to reduce CD final stage. See so a Rayleigh support on Luffy, as well as Neko support on Chopper. We get rid of all the debuffs here. And we'll just use the Weetrek in a special. To let us one turn this stage. Yeah, easy kill. And yeah, since we're running a strength team, this Kisara stage is very easy. We'll just settle with the uh, Kawamatsu boost. As you see here, it doesn't boost we track in. I didn't realize this actually. So I realized it at this point, but on the next team I didn't realize that. As you'll see later. But yeah, Kamas has a time buff, so he will give us an ore boost for this stage. So yeah, we'll use the Luffy Sunny here, get an attack boost. And we'll also use Aces versus Special, and we'll get a uh, Burn Conditional as well. So obviously this will do a lot of damage. The nice thing with the Burn Conditional is that it's two turns as well. So we'll actually be able to kill all the mobs in two turns too. So yeah, we're moving on to final stage. Uh, I realized when doing this stage that I didn't need to hit with Akainu, so I actually didn't need to use Weaver support, but he has it anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter as long as you don't hit with him, stage 6. And yeah, as you can imagine, I'll be using uh, Versus Ace this turn. Rumble Ace will be ready next stage, thanks to that support. And the, end the nice thing with Versus A special here is that even if the ore boost will be deleted now, the chain set won't, so that's a nice extra damage for the revive. And Rumblaze is ready, so we get an attack boost here, and yeah, that will be enough. So yeah, this team was also smooth, if I may say so myself. And yeah, I guess we move on to the main event. My Hold the team with v in and versus Ace, and I'm actually very happy with this. It does use one unit that's not boosted by versus Ace, and finally that unit is actually the Kizuna Carrot, which is not a unit you see a lot, but she just fits perfectly, so... But yeah, that means that most of the time you will hit with Carrot first. And yeah, we're going to be using a very unorthodox strat here. As for the other teams, we just auto battle turn 1, guaranteed that we consume 6 strength orbs. Now we just need to consume 6 more strength dex or quick orbs. And we'll guarantee that by using we 2 snake man special stage 2. Like, that might feel like a waste of snake man special, but yeah. It makes the job done. Now versus a spe versus special is ready stage 3 without stalling, so we can use it here. And this ensures we can 2 it KO this stage. Like the strength guy, you can just take out without a barrier pen unit, just with one with a strength orb, and just kill the other ones with barrier pen units. And we can focus on this guy the second turn. Moving on to stage 4, this is like where Hody begins for real. 
And yeah, poison, we're just going to ignore it. Like we could have removed it with snake man, but yeah, it wasn't needed. Kamamatsu is super good here, changes like all slots to matching basically. And we get an attack boost here and orb boost next stage. As you saw, we track in and not boosted and I didn't realize that here, so I hit with again pretty late in the chain both this stage and the next, and that's obviously suboptimal. Uh, you should hit with carrot first and then versus again to maximize damage. But it's not like the damage is tight, so. And yeah, we use Rumble Ace again here. He's a surprisingly good unit and a surprisingly good unit on versus ace teams, which is one of the main reasons to just use him as friend captain in general. Like, I honestly think we track in versus ace is a lot better than versus ace alone as a double captain. But versus ace pairs up with a lot of units, very good. Yeah, we use we track in a special here that will be alone to secure the one turn. And yeah, I just hit perfect ignoring the burn, we have so much HP, so it doesn't matter. Like even despite all of that, all that poison damage, all that burn damage, we still won't have the full attack boost from the ship, so. Yeah, make sure you hit a perfect big at Akainu 2 so we get the weave support here. This of course gives yeah, max boost for Ace, we get the chain set and orb boost. Carrot gives attack boost and orb and chain boost, so perfect combination. And yeah, we just burst and this will be a very easy kill. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.